What's going on guys? Uh, I know it's been a hot minute since I've done this, but I'm in Dallas, moved here, and it's been two months. I haven't really touched my headlights at all. And I told myself I would get it done ASAP, but a lot has changed in my setup. First off, I'm not using a battery anymore, because if I brought the battery, I'd have to bring the battery charger, and I'm willing to melt that. So I got this power supply, I guess, converter. It converts the AC wall power to DC, which is what you need for this. Yeah, and then I got supplies to make power cords because I didn't want to wait, you know, a couple days for shipping. I just went down to Ace down the road and got it. So, I already did the terminals to connect to the Blue Ghost. What this is, it has three negative and three positive terminals, I guess you could say, and then your plug terminals. So I got this all wired up. These are just kind of slide the wire and crimp it down style. And then I just wrapped it around the screw. And that was that. Figured why not show y'all, give y'all an update because y'all need to hold me responsible. Say, hey, we need the headlight done. We want to see it because I do. Um, but this is the main thing because I can't solder or I can solder. I just can't test how well that solder is. But I needed a power to test lights, so I know what I'm doing right and wrong. So this is the first step. So we'll make a power plug right now. It's just a two prong because I just think two's enough. So the main question that I had is, is there a positive or negative on the plug part? Because sometimes you can plug it in different ways and it doesn't matter. It turns out there is. So it looks like the gold screw is like your hot. So you can think of that as positive. And your silver screw is the neutral which you can think of that as the negative. And most plugs do have two different sizes, right? You got a bigger one and a smaller one. So your bigger side is gonna be your neutral or negative, and your smaller side is gonna be your hot or positive, because um, positive is always the gold one. That's a universal thing, you don't have to worry about it not doing that. So if it does come with two silver or two gold screws, just know the hot one is the smaller one. And if you get one with the same size plugs and the same color screws, uh, I don't know what to tell you. We got just like telephone wire, just, you know, two wires. It doesn't matter. This, all this is, is just copper with insulation. So don't think too much about cable or board or anything. Cause really I can wire this whatever way. It has a rip side and a smooth side and you're supposed to do like the rib to like your neutral, but it doesn't matter because as long as I know what it is, you know, that's all that matters. So like I can make my, like this, I could have made my positive wire black and my negative wire red and it'd still work. It's just easier to go with what everybody else is doing. Knowing that now, it's really simple to make a power plug. All I gotta do is cut some the insulation off, the rubber part, and you know, twist it and Make it look all nice and neat, because that'll help it stay together when you uh, put it around the screw. So it'll go like that, and you'll clamp it down. So what you want to do is some pliers, and just actually strip it a little bit more, just so it can fit in there and not get crushed. So here it is, all wired up. It's kind of hard to film, so I got a little confused. The ribbed one goes to the silver screw. Your silver is your neutral, and that means positive. The smooth one goes to your gold screw, and that's the hot screw, and that means that's your ground. So, just remember that. That'll be your plug, you plug into the wall. This one only goes in one way, so it's pretty hard to mess up. You can also just Google it like this, but the you can see the bigger hole is your neutral, which means it is positive, and your hot is ground, so that's negative. And it works. All my wiring was somehow successful. Just sick. A little scary, gonna be honest. I thought it was gonna burst into flames, but it didn't. So, let's do a quick test with the Blue Ghost hooking up. And I have one headlight, the finished headlight that I have here. And I know which one is positive or negative, because positive has a fuse on it. Don't hear any ticking, which is sick, because as you know, it was ticking before, which I thought was that regulator. Turns out, I think I was just grounding out the LEDs in the wire, so it was like a bad solder job, basically. Here's the whole power setup. We have the plug in the wall, 
and luckily there's a hole, so. I bought two feet, and in my head I was like, hmm, two feet's enough. And then he brought it out, and I was like, mm, two feet's not enough. But this counter has this little hole. Goes into there, powers out, alligator clips on. Super simple, and it works. So you wire the rib to the silver screw on the plug, and you also wire it to neutral, you're fine. And the other wire, you wire it to the gold screw, and the live or hot one, you'll be fine. And this thing also doesn't need a third wire. You can have it. It's probably like a good peace of mind thing to do. But again, I'm just using this lickety split. I don't really need all that. Also, people said it was loud with the fan. I guess it hasn't gotten hot enough or anything, but this is perfect for me. It was like 20 bucks. And then all the wiring and stuff was like 10, 12, I don't know. But easy option, anybody can do this, trust me. Let's go into the Blue Ghost app. Ooh, there it is, I don't know. Sure, but let's pair. It also has like strain wrap on it so it doesn't get scratched. So, does it still work? Oh yes, it still works. Let's be cops. So, this is really good news because that means it survived the trip. That was sick. Some programming things didn't make it like it was supposed to feed to like whenever this color at the bottom or whenever let's say red was at the bottom here, red would be at the top here so it'd be like one strip cut into three type of deal, you know. Also update, the Flow Series Halos that I got they're not compatible. They're a different LED chip. I thought there was like one LED type, like white, amber, like, you know, single color LEDs and then multicolor LEDs. I thought all multicolor LEDs were the same. No, there's a lot. So I found, uh, again, went to Facebook, complained on there. And this one guy from Canada, um, it's a company called GTA Retrofits. They, we compared LED chips and they have it. And so what I ended up doing is sell mine because I got more for it than returning it to Lighting Trends and purchasing his. And his also comes with an outlet out. So say the halo isn't the last thing in your line, say it's the first thing, it can go out to other things. So I won't use that, but it's nice to know it's there. But his came with a clockwise and a counterclockwise which I don't know if that really matters because in the app we can reverse the uh, direction but I guess we can figure that out so don't buy the flow series from lighting trends because if you're gonna buy the flow, flow series from lighting trends you gotta buy the flow series strip personally the strip is like a lot more than the strip of this one and this one seems to be good do that what you will I think we need the counterclockwise for, because this is the passenger side, so close the other one, see if it works. If it doesn't, we'll do the other one. Simple as that. And this already has like a diffuser kind of on it. It's not as thick, which is good if you don't have that much room, but it's already white. So if you wanted a smoke look, I don't know if you can do that. Maybe. And plug this in. Same style connector, but yep. Okay, so it's, this is what we want. See, it's all the same shades. So with the Flow series, it'd be like like a hard RGB with these being multicolors, or the Flow series would be multicolor and these would be a hard RGB. So like, say I selected red on these, the Flow series would be like multicolor. Here, here, I have a picture. This is what it looked like, but this is dope. I'm not a big fan of seeing it the individual LEDs, but you know, it works, it works. It's not, it's not too bad. This looks really good. So, uh, his name was Boyko, Josh Boyko. He, I think he runs GTA Retrofits. He's the one that contacted me. He hit me up. He said, Hey, we have that style. I know for sure they work with that lighting because apparently they had customers or he's done it. But so this means we can start mounting in the headlight and have all of this done. We can also do the thing. So I'm going to do one at a time just so I can walk through one and then do the other one quicker instead of doing them both at the same time. Also, I am correct with the direction. So say you happen to install the wrong one, but 
So it's this direction now, clockwise. Go the right direction, it's counterclockwise. I'll probably just put it in as is right now and I can always change the direction later, which is good to know. But I think counterclockwise, don't think too hard about it being counterclockwise, clockwise, because blue ghosts can change that direction, which is fantastic. So this part is like a chrome, and I've tried to get it off. I don't know what to do to get it off. I think it's like built in, because it doesn't seem like it's they stuck it on or anything, because the, the back of it is also chrome. So I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I'm debating just leaving it, because because the halo is going to cover all that up and all you see is a side. And I like the matte black. I don't want gloss black inside. I like the matte black. It doesn't, doesn't show a lot. Because say I do gloss and something smudges and I can't ever get to it. No bueno. Should I leave this chrome? Because that whole thing will be covered up. All you see is the side. Or should I try to spray paint it? Because I can't even... It's going to be hard to get back there and under there to spray paint. Let me know what y'all think. Um, Cause I already cut it, I have to do something. I think that'll be that for, I think that'll be this. I think this'll be that. Whatever the saying. That's this video. I know a whole lot didn't happen. I'm kind of in a crunch for time. Uh, I have an eight to five job here. And I realized that sucks. <laughs> Not like the job itself, just like the amount of free time I had at school and at the, uh, my other job in Columbia, it's like, I had way more free time. I also had a garage. I had way more tools. Um, I had like, I just had more resources, I guess you could say, to do this stuff. So I was always tinkering with it. Now it's like, I come home, I'm tired. Um, I'm living on my own, so I have to, you know, cook clean, do all the chores. So I have way less free time now. Hopefully that'll change, because. The big thing holding me back with these was the power source and now that I've got that, that's perfect. Um, yeah, I'll try to finish these up before before September 30th, end of the month. Hold me to it. Y'all got follow me on Instagram, mototaco underscore official. It's right here on the screen, it's in the bio. Just click that link, click follow, and just comment, DM me, be like, hey, you get those lights done? Finish those lights, we want to see those lights, come on, because like, I need y'all to help push me and keep reminding me, keep on me, so I can do this and we can install them. Because the install will probably take a day or two to figure out, so I'll put a weekend aside to that. Because with the HID, I'm, I need to figure out what to mount them on the engine bay itself. Um, but mounting it in the headlight, that shouldn't take too long. Because I kind of already have all the mounting stuff there. Take care, have a good day.